Alright, welcome back. Okay, so for this update, we're going to be handling quite a few more confidants and possibly making some more progress on getting a possible target. But for now, let's go ahead and call Kawakami, Hi. shall we? Yeah, Shibuya has been getting more dangerous recently. It's not great. It's not great. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with that ever. Hopefully. Maids cooking and together with a maid. That doesn't sound sketchy at all, especially with the little heart symbol on it. But you know what? Kawakami seems like she's on the level, so I'm pretty sure it's fine. For Ellis, at least. Again, as a confidant that costs money, keep an eye on your yen. I have New Game Plus cash, but in some cases, like for just straight up new games, you might not have enough. So you might have to be prepared to like sell some stuff you get from dungeons. I hope you have a big appetite. Oh boy. I wonder what we're gonna get. And it's ramen. <laughs> okay. That's fair. The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, they do, actually. Look, she's trying her best. She's working like 50 jobs. Cut her some slack. They are pretty complicated, though. Are they, though? Don't request me if you're going to complain. I'm not! <laughs> you're doing your best. Why would you request me again? I'm actively shooting myself in the foot by saying, don't request me. I was curious. Legitimately, I was curious of what you do next. Are you sure that's really the reason? <laughs> yeah, this sates my curiosity and you're making money off of it, so it's fine. There are no ulterior motives here. Everything's fine. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. Yeah, I'm... Sh oh, those wacky Phantom Thieves. Oh boy, those hoodlums. <laughs> Why is this a big deal for the school? <laughs> I wish I talked more about our bonus instead. That sucks. Teachers have it hard enough as is. I'll request you more often, then. You can drop the master part. It's it's really not necessary. What? Not going too well with Kawakami's phone call. I'm behind on my sister's medical bills. That's not good. Don't overdo it. Seriously. Apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. But if it's incurable, then what? 
You know what? I don't understand medicine that much anyway, so whatever. It would really help if you request me more. I'm requesting you as often as I can! Oh, what am I gonna do? Well, I mean... It doesn't have to be through the maid service. Oh, well cool. I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Well, I mean, I can make a mean ass cup of coffee and curry. I can I can fend for myself. I have a cat. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Housekeeping! Allows you to request Kawakami to make coffee or do laundry for you. Nice. All so right. this is a pretty good time-saving method. So occasionally when I have nothing to do on the evenings, or if I have a social, or if I have a confidant to do on the evenings, you can just go ahead and have Kawakami make some coffee for you, or do the laundry, like for that grimy gear that we got in the previous update. So, pretty useful. <sighs> Of course, we still have to pay her the fee, but again, since I'm using New Game Plus, I have an abundance of yen to work with. So it's not really that big of a deal breaker. And here's the extra kicker. She makes the same level of coffee as you do. So anytime she makes coffee, it's master level coffee for me. And that also kind of frees up your time to go ahead and like read a book or do a confidant. Or maybe do laundry or do coffee or whatever she's not doing at the moment. Or, you know, many of the other evening activities that you could possibly do. Oh, look! The fan site had a change of questions. Of course not. Done. That justice stuff, eh? I don't buy into this stuff. Oh boy, a catch he's on TV. How fun. How good for him. Ugh. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Oh. oh god, that is a... Uh, I, I, oh my goodness, that is a... Uh, <laughs> that is a. Uh, that was an inch. I wasn't expecting that when that got recorded. To just hear, like, some uh, middle aged woman just go, like, The Phantom Thieves are super lame! Won't th <laughs> Won't someone think of the children? <laughs> she sounded a little bit like a stereotypical, like, uh, upper class wasp woman. Like, Oh, I. D oh, I dare say those Phantom Thieves hooligans! Ooh! Oh my! What absolute lamers they are! I'm so they are totally not fresh! <laughs> sometimes... Sometimes those little voice bits are great. Like, I mentioned this in a previous update, the ones they had in Danganronpa were just so freaking random, like the one guy who said, You piece of shit! Just as a, like, a basic response. Too cool. Oh. More of that, please. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. <laughs> of course, yeah. Let's out. Let's all just fantasize over a catchy and how cool he is. It says who? I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. Love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for fame. He just showed up on a TV program, which they mentioned that he did it before. 
Clearly he doesn't hate the media. Clearly he's popping up a lot on the media. Think more about what you're gonna say than not at all. Like that woman who said the Phantom Thieves are super lame. Uh. I just remembered. Oh my god, look! Why is ev I know like Ryuji is all about us getting more like cr I know Ryuji is all about us getting more popularity, but can we just stop talking about us for like 30 seconds? Damn. If I were a phantom thief, I wouldn't go after hearts or works of art. I'd go after gold. Okay, yeah, no, I, I get that. We should go after gold, guys! That's where the money's at! Let's go steal some gold! You. Can you imagine how much gold has been excavated by humanity over the course of history? And the correct answer is, three Olympic-sized pools. So, not all that much, really. It's because of its rarity that's what makes it so valuable. I mean, it makes sense. Seriously, guys, we need to steal some gold. A lot of gold. So we can actually buy a proper hideout instead of staying on the fucking walkway like a bunch of idiots. Because that's not a hideout. It's a walkway that other people use. Idiots. You can't measure the value of treasure with money. Okay, Morgana, look, we are doing quote unquote good things morally, but we still need to pay the bills. I live in an Man, attic. Man yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. Calm down. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start. For fuck's sake, Ryuji, shut up! Stop saying that out loud, you idiot! Thank you, On. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Yeah, but you know what? Yelling about it doesn't help either. Especially when you say that we're the Phantom Thieves. Stupid. things all by yourself? Give me some. Sorry. Just ate the last one. Haha. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? Why are we talking about this in broad daylight? But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Can't we do this anywhere else? God! Exactly my fucking point! What is wrong with you idiots? And she's actually competent at this! We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? You guys are idiots. You're always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. Yes. Let's antagonize her. Your student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Oh boy. Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Was he though? Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Oh, snip snap. And how about you? What did you do for your friend? Oh boy. You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? Oh man. There wasn't any way to help. By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. 
luck if those phantom thieves are out there helping people. I'd root for them, no questions asked. They gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Why do you keep antagonizing her? Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? She has dirt on us, you idiots! You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Oh, Makoto has it pretty hard right now. It's not great. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. I've noticed Criminal that. A group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. Yeah. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. It does, doesn't it? He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I say we steal gold. I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. Okay. Not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? That's probably a bad I idea. Was planning on staying at Takamaki Sans. I mean, Ans house. Why do you think that would happen? A thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. Dude, wait, what? What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Yeah, no shit. Impossible. But <laughs> You're the impossible one. Did you not have a backup plan? I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese. Oh, Yusuke, you poor boy. That's not the issue here. It it's kind of is. He's homeless. What are we gonna do about him? Uh, sleep at Ryuji's place. It's way too small. Plus, my folks had never agreed to it. Seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll let What you are you gonna do? Come stay at our what? place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to I would suggest you. that if it was an option. Why you the one but yeah, the why do you fucking suggest it? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about Oh yeah, that's life. why I didn't suggest yeah, it. Because I live in a cafe in an attic. And the cafe's only in I don't actually have much of a place to offer. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Well, okay. Sorry to cause you trouble. You know what, Yusuke, way, you're... I prefer sleeping on a food That's bar. fine. Whatever. I hope you enjoy it. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Shut up. <laughs> I like that Ren just immediately goes like, Shut up, you freaking cat. Looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. People refer to that as retro. See, so dry. I told you I had friends. Hello. Not just imaginary Hello, ones. Too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the help. Come on, dude. No, really. He's been great. Thank you, On. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. Hooray. You're helping though. Okay then. That's fine. Wow, it's delicious. Hmm, indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Oh, Sojuro was oh, in a magazine. Oh, a nice. And of course, Pretty much my reaction to coffee, too. Way too bitter. Ah, it's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. Why'd you drink it, then? I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid, either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Well, thank you, Sojuro. Ooh, I want to see. It's not much. It's only an attic. Yeah. Oh, 
Thanks for reminding them of where I live specifically. In an attic. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Um... Nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! He lives in an attic! It's weird! Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm. Sweet girl. Okay, then. So, this is my pad. I live in an attic. It seems quite ordinary to me. Well, for real. Oh. See? Ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Well, I have a maid. What? Sit wherever you like. Only Ryuji is surprised that I live in an attic. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. Well, shit. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Just say fuck. Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. Thank you, Yusuke! At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. Let's just steal gold. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Well, how about, what about the news? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. Right? However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Yeah, but we've Even already said- make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Fair point. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. Let's just steal gold. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Wow, that's sad. You spent all your money on that box of sweets? Yusuke, your priorities are Dude, weird. How much did you have? Probably not that much. Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? I mean, we need to feed Yusuke. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you Let's say? just feed the poor boy. Yes, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers. See, I wouldn't actually know we'll what goes show. into a hot pot. pot Again, this is we can split the cost later. Th this is a culture that I'm not entirely familiar with. So I'm not really sure what a hot pot is, but it sounds good if it has... I don't know, but it sounds good from what I'm hearing so far. But anyway, we need to go grab ourselves a big old pot to make the hot pot in. I'm gonna see if I can't find any information on the hot pot. Let's see. A hot pot, also known as a steamboat, is a Chinese cooking method prepared with a simmering pot of soup. Okay. Containing a variety of East Asian food stuff and ingredients. Okay, so it's just a... It's just a big ol' arrangement of stuff. Nice. Thanks, Han. I guess you thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask since you're already freeloading. Yeah, I guess so. 
That's fair. I should have a big hot pot somewhere around here. Well, thanks, Sodro. I appreciate you, you know, allowing us to cook and also letting my homeless friend stay here. He's homeless, by the way. Orphan, too. Well, I guess we got all the necessary stuff. Let's go ahead and make that hot pot. And feed Yusuke. Poor boy has been starving. He doesn't know what to do with money. His priorities are very askew. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. Again, he's not entirely wrong. You should never forcefully change a person's heart. Not entirely. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? When you say it like that, yeah. Means, yes. He's absolutely right. Again, we're thieves. We're not exactly law abiding, but still. And helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman, yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? It's not all that great at the Nijima household. Those phantom thieves are out there helping people. There's a bit of fan art that like paints Akihiko as Makoto and Sai's dad, which I think is pretty cool. Although, I guess it doesn't really match. Well, kind of, sort of, it matches up because his hair is also gray and he's also like into justice. And I think in the anime series that's not entirely canon, he's also a cop. I don't know. Sofa. What the fuck are you perverts doing? What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? No one's stopping you from Save eating some more. Next time, man. He's very traditional, that Yusuke. She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. Eat a big old way, thing of food, Luigi, that'll do it. How do you know on? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. That's fair. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. 
It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. Who, you or me? My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. Well, he was being a dick, so, you know. Her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. Yeesh. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. I mean, my past kind of sucks. Past. It's not great. Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Have you? All right, fine. Here's how my past went. Damn brat! I'll sue! You're an asshole. And also, yeah, it's totally that guy from the hotel. Is that fine with you? Evil Keith Silverstein. it on your own, and it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try do I? anything else. You know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... This is bullshit. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. You wanna throw hands? We can throw hands. Excuse Give you an actual... Folks, okay. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it, it's you, sir. Oh. So what happened? I see how this is it's immediately been recognized been by the cops. They're on the take anyway. Suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Oh, come on. Got injured. Wow. It says she says. Well, okay. So make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Oh, you guys are scumbags. So yeah, my past sucks. Just listening to it pisses me off. I know, right? Damn it. You got an assault on your record just for that. Yep. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. Pretty much. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find you? Well, thanks for the support, guys, but I don't know. Saw him at the hotel, but you that was remember, it. Huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. And I never trusted and the cops ever again. And I won't in the future. Details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. Sucks. I can't stand it. And everyone turns on you so at, in the blink up. of an eye. The weaker left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. On the plus side, we got superpowers. Power, do Holy crap, this is exactly what happened to Adachi. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. You know, I know we're doing this like, kind of like heroic, but I'm just saying this this could easily turn bad. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? We were shouting. Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. We're all just a bunch of misfits. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Yes, the talking cat. I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. You're a talking cat. You You're like our Scooby-Doo. 
couldn't find a bigger misfit than you. Thank you, Ryuji. The reason Ryuji. we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> We'll uh, your backstory that. probably sucks like ours. I feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. I mean, there are tons of black cats out there, but whatever. For my own sake, don't get me wrong. Baka. Stronger. Investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! You can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Yeah, well, go team Phantom I Thieves. Hope you can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Well, all right then. That's fine. I I guess I got the leader role. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. Woo, Rumi! That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Shut up, Ryuji. What kind of nickname is that? I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. Well, there's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Shocker. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. Uh. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Funny story about that, Morgana. Ah, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. There's no better way to bond with your bros it's than just sitting thought, in a though. big ass tub. Old guys like and an old guy too. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. I mean, she's breathtaking. Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overall Look, personality. If I'm going to be going be sure for a route for every long. single girl in this game, yes. Oh, please don't. Seriously? Put all my cards on the table. That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that though. Is targeting famous people Why are we talking about this in a public place? We are stupid. I know he's old and probably not listening, but still. May end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Still. Freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Grant? Where did you put a towel on? I can't stand it anymore. Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll uh, I'll contact everyone. Put some pants on, dude. Well, that was weird. Hey, Yusuke, how you doing? Did something happen? I guess you're sleeping on the couch. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Wow. Never mind, I'm not gonna complain about the attic anymore. But hey, let's put up some decorations, shall we? Just to make the room seem a bit more welcoming for our new roommate, Yusuke. Let's go ahead and spruce it up a little bit. We got some stuff from hanging out with some of our uh, confidants. And I'm going to be trying to get as many of these little decoration things as I can, which usually means just hanging out with certain confidants at certain places. So, I I'll try to so I'll try to get as many as I can. Not maybe not all of them, but quite a few of them. Hmm. 
So, ramen bowl. I sincerely hope that's not real ramen. That's like a little plastic thing. Because that would be unsanitary to otherwise. Meanwhile, on the other hand, we have our Choco Fountain. Which is, I imagine, real chocolate. <laughs> Yusuke, if you get hungry during the night, just go ahead and stick your head in that thing, okay? Mm. Don't worry. Unless you have, like, an allergy. Then don't do that. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Otherwise, it's just going to waste. You go ahead and help yourself to as much chocolate as you want, dude. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Look, I don't know if we have all that stuff. We got curry. You like curry? Because we have that. Curry and coffee. That's what this cafe is, you know, known for. Anyway, I had to go to my dream prison. You go ahead and, you know, chill out on the couch. Okay, good night. prisoner has returned you're in the presence of our master stand up straight i just woke up the bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing i know right in other words they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates have you noticed your heart seems to inspire theirs huh <laughs> thank you outcasts of society in other words you're picaresque Deepen your bonds with them. Become the strength behind Go ahead and look that up. Because certain I DLC personas like Izanagi, Orpheus, Thanatos, they also have an alternate version called Picaro. Consider it a gift. Let's see. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Picaresque. Relating to an episodic style of fiction dealing with the adventures of a rough and dishonest but appealing hero. Okay. Oh, so now we get to have even more personas. We have a super stock. So now we have 10 personas to work with. How fun. Again, I'm not really going to be using 10 personas for like combat and stuff, but to handle confidants, yeah, that'll be useful. Your Sai-san's younger sister, Wait, correct? Wait, does Akechi go to the school too? Is it about no, because of his pants, okay. Why is he here though then? Quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. Do we though? You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. And now this turns into an episode of Lupin the Third. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Maybe, but you Don't still you sound like a douche. That's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of Yep, over. totally a douchebag. Oh, looks like it's super big douchebag. And his freaking like briefcase has a big letter A on it. What an asshole. Why does everyone get on my case? I know, I'm sorry, Makoto. You have it rough. Anyway, back at the cafe. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. 
Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Good for you, Yusuke. I see. Oh, but we're losing our roomie. You realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. Well, that's nice of Sojuro. A lot too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. Well, it's true. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? Yeah, why exactly? No reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. Oh, that's all. And that's why there's that really cool like fan comic of like Sojuro be the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I like that one. It's really cool. Besides just And his Phantom Thief name is Boss. Because of course it is. I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. And he's leaving Sayori behind. Here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Look, I was in dream prison, okay? Where's Yusuke? Still in my PJs. You, up? you know it's past noon. Oh my goodness, I overslept. Well, that was nice of Yusuke. Although that painting is super important to him. I would say don't sell it, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure Sojiro won't. So that's good. I'll say... It's kind of in the news. Sojiro doesn't really remember the Sayori, apparently. Alright, that's fair. Hey. Haven't looked at the news recently, have we? Aw. Well, Yusuke, you're part of the team, dude. I believe the por I believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Well, okay. Hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Oh, well. Guess that's best. Yeah, because, you know, this room, I don't know if it can really accommodate more than one person.
Oh yeah, those assholes who were using our names to like rob restaurants. What dicks? My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. This sounds bad. And I'm pretty sure this might be a reference to that one Persona 5 anime, Daybreakers. Not the actual anime, but like the thing that came, but the thing that was released somewhere around the actual release date of Persona 5. But yeah, we should probably look into this thing. Because people are... This is starting to get bad and maybe we should, that should be our target. It would certainly make us more popular. What if we drew them to LeBlanc? Um, excuse me? <laughs> There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Well, that's just not nice. Wouldn't it cause trouble for the boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. It's cause you guys don't live here. Whatever, fine, let's do it. Whatever. Cut it out. It's true, I would get kicked out. And then I wouldn't be in an attic, I'd just be on the friggin' streets. <laughs> oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I'd forgotten. How do- Yeah, how do you forget something that important? It's your mother's painting, dude! Jeez. Yeah, no, we don't need people posing as us. That's that's our look. Come on. We don't need more people posing as us. We've already got it bad enough. We don't need people who are just like impersonating us and putting We don't really need this kind of heat on us. People might get the wrong idea. Anyway, we got to find a better target than apparently the restaurant burglars. Let's see what we're gonna do today. We'll deal with Takemi in a later update. I know we should go do that right away, but hey, come on. Other confidants, and this is Persona, so some things just kinda get put on a hold. Let's go hang out with An. Let's go get ourselves some sweets. Delicious, delicious sweets. Looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepes today. A double chocolate crepe, you say? That sounds amazing. I have the worst luck. There's probably regular chocolate crepes. Get one of those. Hmm? Um. They want to head over for a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? This feels oddly familiar to, uh, this feels a little familiar to Risei's social link and back in P4G when she starts talking about another idol who's taking, like after Risei retired, another idol was like getting pushed. Although the correct answer here is she admires you. 
I don't know if that's entirely accurate, because last time she totally hoodwinked us. We're going anyway, so that's fine. But hey, we have a new location to hang out in. Asakusa. I hope that's the proper way to pronounce that. Alright. Either go to the Sky Tower or Nakamise Street. I hope you brought a change of clothes on because I don't know if that's going to really work for a modeling gig. Hmm? The theme for today's shoot is elegance of woman. Be more elegant, you say. Controlling what you eat, how you move, that's all. May sound easy, but it's pretty tough. I don't doubt it. Controlling what you eat is very difficult. Making sure to check the nutritional and caloric content. Wow, that just sucks. But you know what? You gotta put in the extra effort if you want really good results. Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate crepes? What do you think, On? Oh my god, my team is full of idiots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I get fat with just one bite of that stuff. Pretty much. That doesn't sound healthy in the least bit. Herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga. Whole lot of work. How many squats do you think I do in a week? <laughs> so that's why Mika's super pissed off at On, because she's a natural at this, whereas Mika has to put in a crap ton of effort just to break even. What I meant was natural airhead. Who are you calling an airhead? I will destroy your brain! See, this is why shouting does not help. Cat fights are scary. Calm down, On. This is what she wants. Oh, she did bring a change of clothes. Cool. See, now this is a test. Yes. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> Just start doing JoJo poses. That's what the people want. Could you try being a little sexier? That's why you gotta do the JoJo poses. Nothing sexier than JoJo poses. That's not a JoJo pose. Wait. Why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. That was a lie, but I guess you're just as naive as you look. <gasps> How dare you! Frickin' On just like throws her out the window. <laughs> ah! Well, why'd you even bother calling On here?
I wonder if she has a palace. Little by little, Ahn's just thinking we should make her have a change of heart. That'll fix her. Um. This was a bust. We arrived back in Shibuya. Problem child. That's a cool name for a store. So she could show you up. That was pretty obvious. And she was just trying to be mean. I mean, yeah. Yeah, she was. If that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. You fell into the trap, hook, line, and sinker. Sorry. Cheer up. There's always next time. I'm so pissed off! Watch her die and made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. That is true. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level from me. It's kinda like, it's kinda like with Dragon Ball, where Frieza is like a natural talent, but then when he actually starts putting in some effort, then he gets really freaking strong. That's why you gotta actually put in some effort there, On. Then you'll be able to beat Son Goku at modeling. Wait, whatever. It was like the clothes were wearing me. Suddenly this becomes like kill a kill. How many more anime references can I make in this episode? Let's find out. I'm sure there's some kind I'm sure there's an anime all about modeling. I'm gonna look that shit up right now. <laughs> Vogue the anime. Anime is about fashion, modeling, or makeovers. Let's find out. Anyway, An's resolve has been super improved. Now she's gonna actually put forth an effort. Ooh, now she has sexy technique. Everyone gets their own method of handling negotiation. There's an anime called Samurai Flamenco. Is there an actual anime about flamenco dancing? Holy crap. Uh. Urgh, I'm so mad. It's perfect time for sweets, but no, I won't eat them. I will, but not today. You eat some for me. You stick this giant double chocolate crepe in your mouth right now, Ren. Or else I will kill you, where you stand. Okay then. Ah, you're back. So what do you want to do about our next big target? I don't know, it seems like all that crap going on in Shibuya might be a decent idea. That's sudden. Not really, we've been looking for a target. know how you feel. I just got off this really crappy modeling gig. Now I'm pissed off too. Ah, that high school detective. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Hmm. 
Police would not be a great. Uh, police would not be great for us. Let's see. Oh look, Nishima has some messages about our target's mementos. Heard he just got calmer all of a sudden. That was you guys, right? It was the Phantom Thieves. It wasn't us. I'm just glad the bud of evil has been picked from Shujin. Mishima, calm down. The Kosei Queen! Looks like the Kosei Queen had a change of heart. She calmed down and actually apologized to the male student. So how was it? <laughs> I think I liked it. She treated us like pigs. The Phantom Thieves pigs? You made the right choice changing her heart. Calm down, Mishima. Anyway, the Phantom Thieves have whipped another target into shape. You guys are so dependable. Yeah. Anyway, let's go help out Tora, shall we? We still got a lot of progress to make on the Sun social link. Confidant, whatever, damn. Truth is, there will be cameras there today. Oh boy, I'm gonna be on TV. I'm not comfortable with that, but I couldn't decline. In any case, we just have to do what we've been doing. Okay, I guess we're gonna be on TV now. So I'm doing the exact opposite of what I should be doing, which is keeping a low profile and not appearing on TV. For me, this will be good for my PR. I go from problem child to helping out a politician. This is good, right? I... It is no good tour after all. Oh, you guys are scumbags, aren't you? That's how No Good Tora thought and operated 20 years ago, making unachievable pledges. Aw, oh, see, he acknowledges his past. That makes him stronger. Boring. He's making some pretty good points, don't you think? That's why it's all useless! We can't use any of this! <laughs> Very disrespectful, I'll say. What dicks. However, I've been distancing myself from that. Do you think I've regained my confidence? I'll say. You're doing good, Yoshida. You're doing real good. I think so. Today went pretty well. Well, I must have if you think so. I'll never forget the disgrace I suffered as no good Tora. Let your past strengthen you. Hey. Make you stronger. 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to become a diet member.
I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. I wanted to be in a position of power, and I was obsessed with a glamorous lifestyle. Yeah, it's not great. Thought only of being popular. I truly was no good Torah. Well, as long as you acknowledge that, it's fine. Hey. And now we've moved on. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Yoshida, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm not actually going to be a member of the diet. I don't actually want to get into politics. I'm just using you to learn how to talk good. I clearly need more work. Anyway, rank five, manipulation. So sometimes enemies will give us a rare item. Nice. So we're halfway there. Getting so much closer to finishing up another confidant. You've given some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. I can't believe you lost the last two elections. Way to rub it in. You're Mr. Kuramoto's grandson. Wow, I'm meeting some real movers and shakers in this confidant. I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. Yes, I'm his secretary. That's my title. That's what I'm here for. You know about him? Oh no, people know about me. This is not good. I'm trying to keep a low profile here. Damn. Hmm. Well, best of luck with that, Yoshida. Whatever that phone call is involving. But hey, my charm went up. Nice. Little by little, I become more charming. No, oh, who am I kidding? I'm already the most charming person ever. Look at me, I'm a debonair. See you again. Good job. They got a criminal, so yeah. Oh, look, people believe in us. Sort of. I don't buy into that stuff. Don't be fooled, everyone. Wake up, sheeple. Hi. Go away, Akechi. You and your frickin' Avengers briefcase. How are you doing? Uh, not bad, I guess. Mm, yes. That's a good response. You give me much to consider. Have I though? I'm just kind of giving you very basic ass answers. All right, I guess we'll talk to Akechi some more later. I don't know why we keep getting involved with him, but whatever. Uh, kids these days. They told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know how 
who Hirobumi Ito is. Well, I don't know who he is. Why don't you tell me? Here's a quiz just to make sure. Gee, I wonder if it's directed toward me. Okay, yes it is. Why don't you ever call on somebody else? Paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan. But who issues the coins? That would be the government. Exactly. Hooray, I'm a smart boy. Unlike paper money, coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. Interesting. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. Well, that sucks. You make too much of it and it becomes worthless. Good job. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. I got the top score on the exams last time, jackass! Nice going. How are you surprised? I'm a freaking erudite. All right. Coins, but don't have as Coins which don't have as much of an effect on the economy are still produced by the government. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. Well, <laughs> all right then. <sighs> I hope the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. Foreshadowing, maybe? Who knows? Oh, oh Miss Kawakami needs us for some reason. Oh my goodness! Look at that drawing of Akechi! With his freaking bishy sparkles! Who drew that? Come on! There's no report of it a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Wait, why? Wait, why do I have to start filling out paperwork? This seems like a huge setup. Okay, I guess we're going to the student council room. I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. I'll see you later from the maid service, Kawakami. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. My bad. I think we're busted, Morgana, because the suspicious music is playing. This is probably not good. I was initially going to go to the library to swap out a book, but you had to go directly to the student council room. Yep. We'll do that another time. Let's go see what Makoto needs. Probably nothing good. Hey Makoto, how are you doing? Earlier than expected. Have a seat. This seems bad already. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. Well, I'm sorry, what? 
we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Fuck! It's true. We'll be oh, you guys are such idiots! Damn it, Ryuji! We screwed up. No, Ryuji did. Son of a bitch! Fuck! Damn it! I have no. I'm not, uh, ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? No, it does. It I super does. You, three are the phantom thieves. you know what? You're on the money. Good job. What the police think if they heard my recording. Oh, please no. Bad if we're put under police surveillance. It would be. Shut the fuck up, Morgana. You're a cat at school. The truth, don't don't know, make this any worse. You'll tell me, won't you? I ha I know my fucking rights. That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Um. Okay, someone's blowing my phone. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. Motherfucker, Ryuji, son of a bitch! Idiot. God, oh god. Not as always, but his timing's perfect. Come on, Ryuji. Why? Why would you scream that on the phone? You are an idiot. Damn you. You idiot. You screwed this all up. Good job, moron. Oh. Hmm? Here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. And guess what? I brought company. What the hell? What's the meaning of this? Um. I had him lead me here. Yeah. Sakamoto. On Takamaki. Mm-hmm. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. Yeah. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves destroyed. Good job, Ryuji. Great job. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? We picked a horrible hideout. It's not a hideout! I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. No, yeah, let's double down. When it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. <sighs> this is a good way to get the heat off our back. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. Do what now? What? Shut up. I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. This sounds good. I she like this. Fine, let's make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However... I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Sure, we'll accept the offer. We have to at this point. <sighs> it's just turning into a real pain. Because it's your fault! It is directly your fault! Good job! Don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Thank you, you Yusuke. Me, Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know. Yeah, but you're the one who said Phantom Thieves. I'm so sorry. You both messed up. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. This is why I keep saying they shut the fuck up. The insufficient evidence, though, and even with that, there's no way they can prove our methods. Doesn't help, though, Yusuke. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. Thank you. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. You know how this would be alleviated? Um, if we didn't talk about Phantom Thief no stuff in freaking public right. places! Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh-huh, yeah, it is your so, bad. We doing this? We we kind of have to. But fine, does everybody want to? All right. Unanimous, so is it? Tomorrow, yeah. What about me? 
I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? Doesn't really matter. We fell for this hook, line, and sinker. Because we just love screaming about being the Phantom Thieves. I'm so effing pissed. You don't get to be pissed. You fucked up. We have no other choices. We fucked up. You fucked up. Don't matter to me. Might be a reason behind who she picks, right? Look, we're taking the deal. I'm, I'm curious as to who it is. If we do it, we're off the hook, supposedly. Makoto doesn't seem like a bad person. She seems fine. And don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Are you, though? Are you sure, Ryuji? Are you sure? Because it really seems dumb to just scream about Phantom Thief stuff in broad daylight in public places. Which is what you do 24-7. Oh, goodness. Well, that's, uh, this is what we're dealing with now. Hey. Rick and Ryuji. Yeah, we don't have any choice. Th this is our life now. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully. Whatever, just go to bed. I need them. Want some cash? I've got a job you could do. Do you know about that Phantom Thieves forum? People said when they made a request there, it got granted. Hey, we're getting some more. Really? That sounds super useful. You understand the position here. Whoa, that sounds dire. That one sounds really dire. If you're so just, show your face. This has to be fake, lol. Isn't it a crime? Ends justify the means. Hey! Hey! It's adult Yukiko. With sunglasses. Morning sun is too bright. Who are you again? What about your job? Nope. I pulled an all-nighter. Journalist Ichiko Oya works around the clock, you know. Oh, okay. Well, nice to meet you, Oya. I guess that's how you pronounce your name, Oya. Ichiko. We'll just we'll just go with that, Ichiko. Anyway, let's go ahead and have our meeting, shall we? I was thinking you might not show. Well, so, you know. Whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. Well, shit. Mafia? <laughs> what are you talking about? Shut up, Ryuji. That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. Well, shit. They force you to take part in their scams. Threaten your family and ultimately destroy your life. Well, shit. Holy shit. Right? It appears that their victims include some of our students. No. They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to. Well, I mean, this seems like a pretty so just cause. Let's just go get these guys. That's where you want us to start? We were looking for a target. You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? 
Ooh. Can't you say something witty back at her? Okay. Something witty. Suck it. I knew you were gonna say that. Shut up. It was funny. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. Well, shit. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. Yeah, yeah, she did. Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Yeah, and we're gonna do it, Ryuji. Get in touch with Yusuke. Meanwhile, back to future prison. Student Council President from Chujin Academy? Oh yeah, she is your sister, isn't she? Her nose into this phantom thief business? I mean... You seem a bit upset. Is there a reason for that? I'm not... Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. You know, I just got my ass kicked by the cops. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. Anyway, as I was saying, Ryuji's a complete fucking moron. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. That's not That's good. A crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Yeah, but they're the mafia, and they can kill us. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? Uh, okay. How? We are in huge trouble. It's true. We Even are. After we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. So However, let's go for the mafia. If we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Right. That might make people believe in us. That's a good point. I get it. But he's still a mafia boss. Still the mafia, guys. Sure. This is our chance. They have guns. We just gotta do what we always do. They will get they will just straight up disappear us if they want. I'm just saying, this is what mafias do. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about All right, it. I guess we're doing this. Fine. Right. And I'm going to see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right. Let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Okay. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find something new. Hey. Oh, sure. What do you What's up, Yusuke? So we're going after the mafia now. I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. Well, I imagine you would. Yeah, sure, that's no problem. We can go to the cafe. Not like I was going to get a start in that Mafia thing anytime soon, anyway. Indeed. Seems to suit this cafe quite well. Yeah, it does bring a little bit of class here. It's nice. <sighs> What's wrong, Yusuke? Put it bluntly, I'm in need of your assistance. Please listen to what I must say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. Really? However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. The life of an artist is not an easy one. 
Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. That's never great. To tell the truth. Well, good for you, Yusuke. Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. So, if it wasn't completely obvious, Yusuke is a confidant. Now, his confidant hasn't started just yet, but this cutscene kind of marks the beginning of what will eventually lead into his confidant. Which I like a lot. I always like the Emperor Social Link. I always like the Emperor Representative of each game. They're really cool. Granted, again, I like Kanji a bit more, but Yusuke is still a really, really good character. I love him. He's great. He's pretty much like an opposite version of Kanji. He's a lot more level-headed, but he also has some issues with handling society. It's just Kanji went one way of being a delinquent, whereas Yusuke just kind of doesn't really interact all that well with society and acts a bit, you know, interesting. And Yusuke at some points tried to stay away from society. You're so tough on yourself, Yusuke. My apologies. It also reflects in their personas, whereas Kanji had Taki Mikazuchi and Rokuten Mao and Taki Jizaiten, which were all like very blunt and very physically oriented uh, personas. And he had like a chair and other blunt objects to work with as weapons. Yusuke focuses more on like slender katanas and Goemon, which has a bigger focus on the flair for, for the dramatic. Even though they're both super physically oriented characters, at least combat wise. That is the mean of pure beauty. So this is kind of the basis for Yusuke's confidant. It's trying to understand pure beauty, what comes from the heart, understanding the human heart. And it's also going to be trying to help Yusuke out of his slump. So I'm looking forward to this confidant. It's one of my big favorites. I'd be glad to help. I'm in your debt. So we'll work more on Yusuke's confidant later on. In a later update, we'll get to it. And Yusuke's confidant also has some really good benefits to it as well. Besides just powering up Yusuke. Brain. Wait, did we just walk Yusuke out and then we walk back in? I guess that's what happened, or I'm not sure.
Ooh. So now we have an idea of somebody who might be able to give us a lead. Some guy named Ida. I'm... I hope that's how you pronounce that name. I'm going to go ahead and admit I'm not so good with certain pronunciations. And apparently this game has some issues with that as well. Oh boy, but we're having An handle the negotiations, which might not be great, because her acting skills leave a lot to be desired. Well, we'll be dealing with that on the next update. Speaking of which, that'll do it for this update. In the next update, we'll be talking to Ida, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, and find out some more information about the supposed Mafia boss, and trying to basically prove our justice to Makoto. And that and some more confident stuff. Anyway, until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next update. Until next time, see ya. Reflecting that's a truth Still the worst of two weeks